Welcome to the second one. We're doing another one. Welcome to the glove cast. The glove cast. Snapping those fingers. Snap you know what time it snap. is. It's, it's kind of. I'm kind of tired. Yes. It's, but um, I know what time it is. It's 7:39. <laughs> 7:39. That's not that late. No, it's not. We not were that just, late at all. No. We were out and about today. We were walking, and we're not good at walking. Yeah, it's hard, and it's it's been so cold lately. Apparently, and it snowed. It snowed. She doesn't believe me, but it snowed. Yeah, because I don't live here anymore. No. And I came to visit. It and snowed on she Friday. Told me it snowed. It's like. And she doesn't believe me that it snowed on Friday. And it only snowed like for like twenty minutes and it didn't stick. But it I snowed. See. I don't see how. It how snowed. Snow could, like randomly come. Snow. We looked outside and there was snow. Apparently. I heard from multiple people, you heard from somebody, your grammar instructor, mm -hmm. instructor, that it's gonna snow tonight. Yeah. So it could be snowing right now, who knows? I don't think it's snowing right now. That's we would have seen when we walked over here. Yeah, we were outside a second ago. But it's yeah. fine. How are you? No, I just through that wall is just snow. There's just a wall of <laughs> snow up to the second level. Just snow. The snow is up to like there. <laughs> In like, an, like, not even an hour, like 20 minutes. Not even, like 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. We did, we pet my cat, started the recording, and that's what's happened since, <laughs> since we were outside. Since we were outside. That does not take 20 minutes. True. Well, who knows? I doubt it's snowing. Even no, though I everyone says, we went to, like, the rec center or something, so sort of, that's like a, it's like an ice rink. There's an ice rink and a swimming pool and yeah. um, an exercise area and some gym areas. There didn't used to be the gym areas. Yeah, the gym is a new thing. They just like built. It's downstairs. not new. We were like, like it came in like, like ten like, years ago. I mean, not ten years. More like seven. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, it was in there. But the ice rink has been here for a really long time. And I heard some guy. He was like, I don't know what he was doing, but I just overheard him talking about the snow. So, who knows, more than just one. random guy talking about it the was. snow. It was, I heard him, he was like kind of loud, it's like, so sec two sources, so who knows if that's legit or not. Mm -hmm. But I digress. We could look it up on the internet. Yeah, it still might not be legit. That's true. I like it, it didn't tell me that it snowed on Friday like you said it did, but I don't know. It snowed on Friday! <laughs> I don't know. My it. friends can attest to this, <laughs> that aren't you, and aren't from the internet. <laughs> They probably can't attest to this. They'll, but... they'll back you up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even if you live in, like, freaking states. It's February. It makes sense for there to be snow. Yeah. It doesn't make snow. sense any longer in March, but in February it makes sense. Okay, sometimes it makes sense. Yeah. There was something else. I mean, we're getting snow, like, we had a bunch of snow this year, so we won't get snow in March, because if... If it's snowy in the t t winter, it won't be snow in the spring. But... Didn't it snow in like November? Yeah, it started snowing in November. Like mm -hmm. the 2nd of November. Yeah, it snowed for a day there, I remember that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to snow in November either. Yeah, it doesn't usually happen. We get rain. Uh -huh. We don't get snow. Yeah. I think it's snowing it's on like... Christmas too. Yeah, there was, there was. I don't it's like snow cold on Christmas. Here, but it's not, uh. Mm -hmm. Not like snow weather, I guess. It snowed yesterday. Snow. And it's apparently gonna snow tonight. Yeah, apparently, according to that random guy. Yeah. Let's see if we we'll see if and we my can get a test. Yeah, two sources. How ah. exciting. Anyway, neither of them credible. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows not... who that guy is? You know, he could. He, he could be real credible. He could be a weather guy. Like I really I doubt don't it. Know. But... I doubt it. I doubt it. But. Maybe he's actually like he's has a hobby of being interested in weather. Yeah, that's quite possible. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think about these things sometimes? At the rec center today, there was a hockey tournament. Yes, it was really kind of interesting. It's... We didn't actually watch it. We didn't watch it. We just kind of sat there, and we were like, we were trying to work on something. We were trying mm. to do work. And, and then there was, there was just like hockey on one side and swimming hockey. on the other. And the swimming was boring, but the hockey was less boring. I mean, I don't care about hockey, but... It's funny, like, you don't care about hockey, then you, like, see it happening, you get kind of excited. Yeah, hockey is very infectious and exciting. Yeah, because uh, lots of people generally around here are extremely into it. Yep. So it's hard not to get into it, too. 
People like hockey. The fever. Hockey, hockey fever. fever. People like start riots all the freaking time. That happened like once in our lifetime. I know, but next time the Canucks win or whatever, they're gonna have riots or they lose. Right, they, if they lose the playoff games, there's a high chance they'll be a riot, yes. Canuck is that's, like the one that's really popular. That's our there. province's team, and province is like states, but in Canada. <laughs> Yeah, that is. It literally is. It's so they're, small. they're bigger, but the provinces are really bigger in states, and there's less of them. How many provinces mm. are there, Dana? Like seven or eight. Eight, I think. Mm. Eight is the number I got in my head, but I don't know if it's and true. And then three territories. <laughs> Yukon. Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, no, but yes. Northwest territories. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah. Yukon was a team today in the hockey game. Mm. It's interesting because it was like it was like a bunch of high schoolers and like from all over from Seattle from Yukon North Vancouver yeah it's like that's not all ju- that's not just like the home team that's not like just like two high school I don't know why they chose our city to do it our city is not that important yeah I don't know why they chose to do this like important tournament over here not like I mean I guess studio. they do have a pretty good rank for. Like, it's like it's been around for a long time. Mm. And it has the whole um, score keeping thing on top, mm-hmm. which I think it might be broken in the <laughs> city over. So yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the rank in the other city. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. No, I think we have a pretty decent rank, and we're probably pretty centered with because like we're probably in between yeah, a lot of cities because we're like three hours away from Seattle. Yeah, something like that. And an hour away from North Vancouver. No, maybe yeah, like two know. hours away from North Vancouver. I would I think there's a ranking like Vancouver somewhere. Yeah, but then they'd be so far away from Seattle. That's true. We're closer to Seattle where we are right now. We're quite centered. In, yeah. That's true. I guess there's a point there. But anyways, it was kind of interesting because it's like you don't expect there to be a tournament going out. People from all over the freaking place. Nope. When you've just decided to like once ever to go to. Yeah, like we don't usually go there. We're just like, let's just go here to work because I don't want to do it at home. Mm. And there's not like a video cafe in a cafe anymore. We ended up going to a grocery store <laughs> and sitting in their cafe because we needed plugs. They have like they had like a, co- a cozy cafe there. Uh, For it, no it good wasn't reason. a cafe because there was no. It was just a seating area. It's just a seating area with like outlets and nice new IKEA chairs and stuff mm. like that. And forks and spoons and knives. <laughs> Galore! All the forks you could ever want. Fifteen forks, take them all. And also plum sauce. Yes. Plum, plum sauce, sauce, mustard, everything you could ever dream. So right yeah, there. you could buy things from the grocery store and go sit and eat it there. It so was actually way nicer than like. We expected it shops. not to be nice, <laughs> but it was really nice. Yeah. So that was nice. That was nice, it was anything nice. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna talk about sports. Sports. I guess we have something to say about we're that. We're not very sports people. Yeah, I've never been into sports. I like basketball. Yeah, but did you take it like that seriously? Nope. <laughs> you just think it's fun. Mm-hmm. I played basketball in middle school and we were the worst team. That was fun. <laughs> you had fun though, that's good. Mm-hmm. We ha- we played at a grade 7 level, but we had grade 4s on our team. Oh, wow. You can-, you can see how that would go badly for our team. We also had grade 8ers, but they weren't allowed to pr- play in tournaments. What grade were you in then? 4 to oh, 8. small. Wait, wait, so ever since you were in 4th grade until 8th grade, you are in the same team? Yeah. Tiny school. Yep. The fourth graders are normally not allowed to play unless someone gets injured or we run out of people. At least when I was in fourth grade. When I was in eighth grade, then we had the por- fourth graders playing because we didn't have That's enough perfect. people. Because we didn't have enough people. I see. In fourth grade, I wasn't allowed to play. Also, I was shit, so. I don't want you to play. It's like, okay, you yeah, can they- have someone sick. It, no, not even. Other the good fourth players, fourth graders. That's funny that they like couple the eighth graders with the fourth graders. What else were we supposed to do? If we did that, we still had like seven people. <laughs> when I was in grade seven, the grade you're supposed to be in, then I was the only grade seven front that was on that team because there was only 
two other female grade sevenners. <laughs> it's what girls division, boys division. Oh, interesting. Well, they have to do that or they won't be allowed to play, so. Really? Yeah. In my other school, uh, they had sports teams made up of a bunch of different grades, and there was a couple tournaments. It was volleyball. Lots of volleyball. All of the tournaments were hosted at my school. Okay, not all of them, but like 90% of them. And I'm pretty sure that's the only reason we were in the uh, division we were in, is because... you like to host them there? We had a good gym. Because hmm. most middle schools have tiny gyms. Yeah. But we had a double size, like the full size gym. gym. So normally, because the small gym is fine, and that's what you need for grade um, seven league uh, basketball games. But so we could just split our gym in half, and we had all the markings on either half, so we could just do it that way. So you had just two games going at once instead of one game going at once, and you could watch both of them at the same time. I went to... A Real moment. confusing with the whistle blowing, though. Because if the other ref blows it. a whistle, you hear it, and your exactly. automatic reaction is to go and stop. But you don't want to stop if it wasn't your ref blowing the whistle. Yeah, that would be annoying. I mean, I don't play basketball. Mm. Like I said, in my school, bringing people play volleyball. And don't like volleyball. I thought I did at one point, but it really hurts your hands. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a pain. It's just like torture for your hands. That's it all hurts. it is. Makes my hands itchy. Yeah, it's not it does lots of things to your hands. It's brutal. Yeah. And it's not very fun anyways. Even and I don't like badminton. We should play badminton. I like badminton if you're not following like the rules extremely tightly. Yeah, if it's just like, yeah, we should play badminton together. Yeah, just like badly. Whack, whack the birdie. That's it. Badly. No, no rules. I like some, like the, uh, the where you're supposed to aim roll is okay. What's that? Like, when you're playing badminton, you're supposed to go, di you're supposed to aim diagonally. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, you do. Well. That's, that's kind of a fair thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get some badminton rackets somehow. <laughs> You'll have some, but we hung them they're in like, a tree. They're really old, though. And we hung them you're in a tree. You're probably fine with, like, a thrift store. Yeah, we hung them probably. in a tree. Probably. Why did we do that? I don't remember. I don't they're know. still there. I don't think they're still there. We hung them by vines. The vines would have I disintegrated. I think they fell in the bushes or something, and yeah. they were, like... Yeah. They're still out there, but... I remember there was, like, these bushes behind my old house, and, like, we used to throw brats and stuff in them, and there's a lot lost in there. We didn't purposely throw brats in them. Sometimes. <laughs> Once in a while, we purposely threw brats in them, and we're talking about the doll. Um, yeah. Yep. <laughs> the brats doll. The yeah. Zed. No, no, just, like, Good naming children choices. Who are... <laughs> I remember this Bratz movie we watched that was like supposed to explain why they were called that. Did you remember it? That? I don't remember that. It was like, because the Bratz, whatever, Chloe and Jade and whatever their names were, yeah. they were like babysitting. I remember this. We watched this together. We, maybe we were asleep. <laughs> uh -huh. Um. Well, they were like babysitting, and like one of them said, Oh, these kids are brats! That's what we should be called! <laughs> it was literally so stupid. Uh, but that's. The brats kids were fun but disturbing. Oh my god, we really want to watch them in. We might watch one after this, actually. Because yeah, all of a sudden I have like, like a, a huge desire to. Like, okay, here's like one example. So the sleepover one ends with demonic monsters in a roller coaster or something. It ends with, okay, how we were all telling stories way fun. Fuck no, we weren't telling stories. What do we do? That's well, how it it's ends. not fake. It's real, and it like it really. And then they get kid. chased by evil. Their friends turned into evil monsters. Yeah, and that was so scary. It was odd. They looked a little bit like Sully from Monsters Inc., but like really yeah. badly rendered. Yeah, it was. And so it was scary because the animation was bad too. It was an interesting movie. Yeah, and it was so trippy too because they were like an amusement park or something, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. It was like an amusement park with no other people in it except for them. And there was a Wii game about that that I had. Oh, yeah. It was a mini games, that's all it was, but. Uh, yeah, just mini games. Sometimes, huh? <laughs> Quality. Quality content. And then there was one about them uh, fairy tales where there was rapping gnomes. The gnomes were a reoccurring best part. <laughs> reoccurring best part of Brat's, Brat's movie. It, it, the pic they have a pixies. Brat's pixies, which is something different that we really liked for some reason. Yeah, and the, the gnomes have their own song whenever they enter. Yeah. 
And so you always just hear this song, and it's really, like... It's like the gnome theme. They always play every time that they come in. And then they rap, and then they, like, do a boy band, and it's, it's yeah, really Yeah, the boy great. band is from the fairytale one. The fairytale one. I get that mixed up. We should just, like, do a binge of yeah. these Bratz movies. It's we been a while. We should binge Bratz movies. Uh, I'm sure you can find them online on YouTube. That's what we do. <laughs> I had the DVDs of a few of them. Mm-hmm. Bratz Pixies, at least, and I had I had burnt DVDs to get out. Yeah. But who cares? We'll just pirate him. That's fine. And what else was there? There was Sleepover Party Adventure. There was the fairy tale one. There they had Bats a Pixies. whole series of TV shows about them making a magazine. Hmm. And, oh, yeah. And, um, it was called Bratz Magazine. That's, yeah. what, that's the one story they, I told was from that. They had a competition with this other magazine with these other girls who would always be getting their nose done. So one of them <laughs> oh, always yeah. had a band-aid yeah. on her nose because it was always being redone. I remember that. <laughs> that was in, like, Brett's Diamonds or something. Oh, uh, that was in all of that series. Like that, of... Yeah, that one's here. And there was, like, this snobby woman with a, with a little like, yeah. chihuahua. chihuahua. Brother were called for some <laughs> Chihuahua. We really like Bratz. Yeah. She had very many Bratz. My grandpa used to buy me Bratz off eBay and, like, bid for them. He was, like, into the the frenzy, like, the auction on eBay, and he always bought me lots of Bratz. <laughs> like, used ones. Yeah. So, she so we had, had a lot of them. And so, she had so many Bratz. You know how most kids will have dolls and they'll take on different roles depending on what games they're playing? She didn't do that. She just had different brats for every game. Yeah, like, I wrote the name of the brat on their head. And they every were forever. Every brat was one character. They were forever that character. Except for one who was a kid's one. She was Taylor in the human world and Taylor <laughs> in the fixie world. And she really, really liked, liked YouTube. I really liked that character. She was my favorite favorite doll, so. Yeah, she really liked YouTube. I remember that. It was her, not the... No, the baby was really smart. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense. I don't understand either. <laughs> it does, we were we were like eight. Yeah, we were creative though. <laughs> and so the baby was really smart, and Taylor the pixie watched every YouTube video in existence, which I realize now is worrying. <laughs> As like a what a nine year old girl. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely. Yeah, but she watched every YouTube video in existence. She'd freeze time to watch she, YouTube videos. I remember she wanted to, like, phone Mr. YouTube or something. Oh, yeah, she phoned Mr. YouTube. This is a thing we did. Because, like, they're in our game, there was a thing called... There was some pixies. They were, like... I don't know what they were. They're magic and they didn't exist in the real world or something. Yeah. What was our lore? Are they... And, like, it was Taylor, that one we mentioned. It was... Some uh, adult ones and a crazy mother. Their mother who was like insane and probably not qualified to take care of them. And a baby. And a, and who a had really floofy hair and was really smart. Yeah. I remember. And for some reason her design it had had been made so that the hair was all a, in a ponytail on the top of her head. Yeah. And they hadn't filled in the hair anywhere <laughs> but this edges. Oh yeah, I remember that. It was she was a weirdly made doll. But we had mm. those fairies, pixies. And then we had, like, the humans, which were pretty much all Bratz kids, because I really like the Bratz kids. Look yeah, better. and then they all had families, and they were divided by hair color. Yeah, so, like, I mean, I know now, like, all of the black-haired uh, dolls are pretty much all Jade, so they're just all different versions of Jade. In the yeah. Head. Well, not all of them, but, like... 90% of them, them, so that's much. the black family, there's the blonde family, there's the orange family. Yeah, just because of the color of their hair, blonde family, that was the iconic one, because the most I had were Chloe. Yeah, it was because Chloe was... Chloe was the common one. How racist. <laughs> My favorite was Jade, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. There were a lot of them. There were a lot of Jades, a lot of... I mean, I'd most well, Chloe's. we did have a couple... A couple of the real-world ones were actually wizards. Yeah, so we had one who was Annie, I think? Annie was a wizard. I think her name was Annie. And I think... Yeah, I think we might name her Annie. Annie. It's a Dana doll. It, oh yeah, cause cause this one's name is Dana, and she had a Dana doll. We had two of them. You just refer to me as this one. This one. Yeah. I'm pointing, but you the can't Dana see. doll was great. It came with a remote cool. control um, scooter. I think we had two Danas. It was a snowmobile. Yeah. What was that one that we had two of? You know the one that Taylor was. We had was? two Danas. We... we had two Danas. I know. One of them had dice hair. One of them didn't. <laughs> well, one of them lost the shoe. Oh yeah. And so we put on a because brats don't have feet. <laughs> So we put on a feet shoe. <laughs> we can show a snapshot of this. You gotta find another one. I, I can probably just look at 
the channel. <laughs> we had there. a YouTube channel, but we're not gonna no, show you. No. <laughs> we'll show a picture of it. Um, yes. There, I'm almost done explaining this. There was Megan. Megan was my actual favorite, I think. But, like, mm. she she was harder to find. Because she's Megan, just, like, the redhead one. The redhead freckles. Yeah, so that was my favorite. And she was, like, she, the assistant of the wizard. This, this one, as she called me. She, like, red hair and freckles, so. Yeah. We also had the spy Something family. Crazy. Spy family, I almost forgot about. Uh, they a were in a closet completely separated from everyone else. There was everyone else, or all the adults, the kids, and then the pixies got put on a shelf easily. <laughs> all the adults got put in a closet. All the kids, the wall had an out dent, so it yeah, went in, yeah. and so we put all the kids there. And then shelf. there was another closet for all the spies. <laughs> we just had to live in a giant closet. <laughs> there was... All of our mother characters were insane. It, no, no, I always played the mother because she refused to. I don't know why. And I, I have a habit of making all of my characters insane. Yeah, pretty much. So all of the mothers were a bit crazy. Yeah, we had Pixie Mother. I don't remember what her quirk was, but she was just like a crazy old magic lady. Yeah. She's um. a crazy old magic lady. And then we had um, Blonde's family mother. She was the most normal, I think. Blonde's family mother? I think she was quite normal. Yeah. She was quite normal, but they had a sister called Inappropriate Lady, which... Yeah, that was... She was, like, scared We found plan. all of the smallest clothes we could find <laughs> and all of the sets of brats that we had and put it on Inappropriate Lady. <laughs> quote, unquote, unquote. I don't know who she was. She was just an insane woman. Yeah. Oh, and the the spy's mom was a bit. Yeah, the spy's mom was very <laughs> insane too, and she had like we actually had a bit of a story. She had like her ex ex husband or something who sent her letters or something. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And there were three spies: yeah. Sandy, Mandy, and something totally different. The girl Anthony's firm. Candace, Candace, those yeah. women, I think. <laughs> I think Mandy, it was Sandy, and Candace. Yeah. I was the mom in um, Sandy. I don't know, I don't think the spy mom had a name. <laughs> she no, was she spy was mom. a spy mom. She had a name, but it was probably like... It was a spy she, mom. She didn't go by it anymore. I mean... I think in the lore, we had like her former name or something. Yeah, we were very invested in really, these characters. Really, really. It was like oh, like going on two years we played with this. Like when we were like seven, eight... Nine, ten, eleven. I know we were still doing this when we were eleven, because that's when the YouTube channel's from. Oh, oh it is. Oh yeah, it's from like... I don't know when it's from. I don't know. Oh wait, no, you'd be 11, no, you'd be, you you'd were be 11, 10, I I, 10, or either that or 9 and 10, because I think it's I think 2011. It's, I think it's 9 and 10. Yeah, I think it's I 9 and 10. I don't think we were doing that when we were 11. I think we were still, like, it was, like, petering off when we were 11. Because you still wanted to play, and I was like, I'm too cool for this. Uh, and then you'd be annoyed at me, and I'd be like, eh. And then we eventually stopped And you'd be like, you come up with, and I, any game you'd come up with, I'd go, no, I don't want to do that. And you'd be like, you come up with a game, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so. So we just started doing other things. Yeah. But we gotta finish up the explaining of the brats. Oh, yes, we have to finish up the explaining of the brats. Uh, Mandy was like, she was good at everything, and I no, hated you so much. No, that was Sandy. Her. Mandy was yeah. yours. Sandy is yours, the fluffy-haired one. She was good at everything. I she had a habit of making my characters. Like, Sandy was insanely idiotic, but then she was secretly amazing at everything. She was, like, a genius, but, like, really stupid. Yeah. And Mandy was, like... Because I was an ass who always wanted my characters to, to be, be the OP. best and good at everything. And any challenge she'd bring up, Sandy would instantly have a solution. <laughs> So annoying, I remember that. <laughs> you hated that. Yeah. And my and Mandy, she was like a pyromaniac or something. She liked flamethrowers. She liked to burn everything. I don't remember what else about her. I think she was just like... Yeah, that seems about right. She was like into burning things for no reason. I'm just like, I want her to like flamethrowers. So she's gonna like flamethrowers. She was kind of a crazy child. When I was like 10, 11, I yeah. was like... You're really into violence for some reason, because I guess I was just But, like, you didn't sort of understand thing. violence, but you... Yeah, it was, like, like a face. talking about violence. I liked... I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> kids. <laughs> yeah. Kids don't know anything. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember... Do you remember the Blondes family? There was one of yours who you tried to cut her hair short and screwed she it up. She put a sock on her hair. So we put a sock she on her hair. She turned into, like, an elf fanatic. Yeah. She, she was obsessed with, like, Santa's elves or something. Oh my gosh, do you remember this weird thing? Someone's mom was, like, 
like Santa's husband, a wife or something, and their dad was secretly Santa. Do you remember that? I think so, yeah. <laughs> there was also the alien, who we lost. We lost him and we never continued Blonde's Family our series. Or we continued it, but we lost that was the like, alien, that so was we like turned the, the alien into a woman. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> I, my characters from the Bloods family I remember were Charlie and Jamie. Charlie had infinite pockets that she could just take things out of and she pockets. She was a kleptomaniac. And, and then, she liked betting people. Oh yeah, she really liked betting people. And Jamie had the inability to say no. Yeah, she so was just like... always say yes. What we thought of was like a nice girl. Mm -hmm. And mine was... What was her name? The sock one. I don't remember. I don't remember her name. It was something like Callie or something. Mm. If we find the doll, it'll stay on the back of her head. We Melissa. It. Oh yeah, Melissa. It was Melissa. And I would find the dolls. I don't yeah, know I don't know where you put them. No idea. I know where like one is. We have to find the kids at least. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we had Melissa. She was like a uh, conspiracy theorist, but for like Santa's elves or something. Just anything fantasy. Oh yeah, like fairies and stuff. Fantasy in general. Mm -hmm. And then we had her best friend, uh, Taylor. I think I had two named Taylor. That makes sense. I think I had two named Taylor. It was like a Taylor that was Jade, and the other Taylor was like, I don't know, some brown haired girl. I don't know which one she was, but she was like a more obscure one mm. that we had like one of. Yeah. But like the Taylor that was, if she was friends with Melissa, she was like a conspiracy, the conspiracy theorist about aliens. Oh. <laughs> yep. We were interesting children. Yeah, I don't know if it makes sense. We just had to think about that for a second. We just had to go back in time. Yeah, that was fun. But the movies. Movies? Yeah. The movies, what? How many were them? We watched the series, we watched like the two kids ones. I was upset they stopped making the kids dolls. You like, your favorites were the kids dolls and then they stopped making them. Yeah. And the soul. She really yeah. liked the kids dolls. I mean, I like the kids dolls better still to this day. Fair. And hated the toddler doll or the baby dolls. I still do. Are you kidding me? They're like awful. Them? I I hate them. Obviously. Show a picture. They're look at their design. They're big fat legs. And then comparatively to every other character, they're and huge. Show, yeah, show like a picture of every stage of brass. Like look, baby, okay. Um, kid, okay. But like toddler, oh my god. <laughs> were there baby ones that weren't the toddler? Yeah, there was a poofy hair baby in that. You know. The poopy hair baby was one of those. Uh huh. We had a few of those. Baby, baby. But yeah, they were awful. And we never had any men for some reason. We had purple men. We had one man. I don't know why we didn't get more. There was like no breast kids' voice. There, yeah, there was. There was barely any male there, I breasts. I don't know why it's so uncommon. But oh well. It was not. Uncommon. The one I got was from Liquidation World, and that shows how unpopular. You would always get them secondhand, and no one bought yeah. male breasts. The one I got was from Liquidation World, which means the store was like, we can't sell this, here you go. That's basically what Liquidation yeah, World was. It was a great store. Because, like, no one bought male brats for some reason. Like, I probably wouldn't have minded if there was more of them. Mm-hmm, but no one bought them. So, so we had one mind? dude, and just like an appropriate lady, he was- We painted the- <laughs> we, pa we were playing a game where he had to take care of children. <laughs> and the children- what? got nail polish and painted him purple. What the And freak? then we realized, wait, we can't get this off. So he became purple man. Forever. <laughs> he was always purple man. Yep. We were smart children. I think he was a superhero. We tried to make him a superhero. Was he trying to salvage it or something? I don't know. And his face was sparkly because we had sparkly <laughs> nail polish too. Oh gosh. And the, it was like grape scented nail polish because it was kids nail polish. <laughs> Do you remember Box World? Box World, a little bit. It was something to do with Bratz, I know. Uh, the Bratz had a show they would watch called yeah, like, Box in World. In the universe? Like, like, um, what was that, what was that example I used in Fairly Odd Parents earlier? I don't remember. Uh, like, uh, Crash Nebula and Fairly Odd Parents. Like, freaking in The Simpsons with Itchy and Scratchy or whatever. We freaking did that in our own Bratz universe. <laughs> yeah. So they had Box World, which had a chess. That would talk. <laughs> the box, the chest. It was like a, a tiny treasure chest. Yeah. And it, we would open it up and down so it talked. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there was a girl that... That and, dressed in red. Like, we took red clothes. I think she was just always dressed in red. Uh-huh. 
And at one point they were having auditions for. I remember we had a plot about how they were having auditions for Box Wolf. Oh, and everyone was fighting. Oh my gosh. I don't even understand anything. I don't get Child Less, but. Mm -hmm. We were entertaining. It's kind of. I kind of want to, like, bring these ideas back. I, I feel like we should watch. But um, Plot family. Maybe we'll do a watching of that on this channel, but I don't know. Probably in a long time. Yeah. It's not it's not fun to watch, either that or <laughs> banana. We also did some other movies, but I digress. We were like We did a 10, lot of 11. stuff when we were like under ten. Yeah. It's kind of weird. And we read we used to when we were eleven, I think, we did the story, this infamous story about Ironic pomegranate and stuff. Yeah. It's funny how long that story lasts. It was, it was, uh, what's it called? Random story. What's the actual term? For that? I don't know. I don't think there is an actual term. It's like where, let's do an example. I like to eat lots of banana popcorn and cry in to the popcorn. Okay, that is an example. That was sad. <laughs> but that, that sort of thing. We did one of those really long on a train. Yeah, because we were on what's called the Santa train. Yeah. Where you, the train does, like, you get on by giving a present. Yeah, you can and get on for give free. them to kids. And, um, and Santa comes, walks down the train and gives out candy canes. <laughs> it's a fun time. To an extent, yeah. <laughs> it's nice getting on the train for free. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice train, so... Yeah, so we were there with her brother and, and her my, cousin. My cousin, yeah. And we did like that sort of thing because we were trying to find something to do or something. So my we cousin. Just kind of doing that. We did that on the way there, but we didn't have anything to write on. So while we were in the town, the train brought us to. He bought a notebook. So then we could write it in there. I yeah. have that notebook somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I should find it and then we can reread it. Maybe we can read it in a video. I don't know. Maybe. Because it is a fun story and it had a lot of lasting impact even though it was so stupid. Such as it was William's intense. name on everything ever. Yeah, her brother <laughs> William's name on Steam is still Ironic Pomegranate, which is like I an is, I think joke. he changed it. And like, um, whenever we're talking to people, it's like, Pompo! We and call that's him Pompo. Just, that's just a shorter version of Ironic Pomegranate. But, er, yeah. Ironic Pomegranate surely slowly got shortened and shortened and shortened Iron until pump, it pump. until it just became Pompo because um, Brawl would only fit five. <laughs> yeah. So Pompo, That's where I got my name from too. Kane. <laughs> we still use our names like to this day. Yeah. I use Spork this... just because it's five letters in Brawl. Smash Bros. Brawl can only fit five letters, so it's like I, I need to come up with a name. Kane. It's because that's what we did for Animal Crossing. We did Spork and Kane. Sometimes you're Sporked. I d didn't made it Spork because I'm like. Sometimes I I'm Tana, but that's always an accident because I'm trying to write <laughs> Kane, but I think of my actual name Dana and just end up writing <laughs> Tana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that works too. Yeah, Kane and Spork and um, William had a different name before that. I, mean, I don't remember where it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was probably. Spoon or something. That's why I got Spork from it. <laughs> and well, I don't know where I got Kane from. <laughs> from your mind. I think you said something, but who cares? It's it's remember. funny how long those names stuck, though. I really need a new one, because Kane's stupid. Yeah, I still use Spork. Yeah, sometimes. Spork's good, though. Kane's Kane is like Kane. Spork is like way more personality than like Kane. It's like Kane. Like an old man Kane, candy Kane. What kind of Kane do you mean? Sugar cane. Yeah, maybe we, we'll find another name for your That's usernames. That's no point. Gotta find a stupid inside joke. <laughs> yeah. Good times. And there was Charlie Orange or something. Charlie Orange. Oh yeah, Orange. Charlie Orange. In the, in the story. We have to find this notebook and we'll see if we can. Yeah, it. we can probably find it in my house somewhere, but we're gonna watch Bratz. That's Bratz. our plan. After this, we're gonna watch Bratz. Probably. Anyway, after that long tangent, we were speaking about animated movies briefly, the, of the greatest caliber, Bratz. Yeah, the best animated movies. But we have been watching more movies lately, too. Because we like watching movies together. And because, like, animation is great. Yeah, we like animated movies. A lot of the time, animated movies are not always, like, 
super like realistic and M rated, so <laughs> us as teenagers it's easier for us to find interesting animated movies to watch than live action ones. Because most live action ones are like for adults. Yeah. And you know, we were respecting the rating. Yeah, to, we, for the most part. To an extent. <laughs> to an extent, yeah, I respect the rating because it's there for a reason. To an extent. Yeah, of course, to an extent. I'm still gonna friggin' watch anime just because it says it's 18 plus. Like, I still okay. watch Deadpool, so. Yeah. Actually, Mom chose it and we watched it Lots as a family people. Sunday was... movie. <laughs> a family Sunday movie? <laughs> yes, Mom picked it out. That's very good. Good, good Sunday. Wholesome Sunday. Wholesome Sunday movie. Yep. Got home from church and watched Deadpool. <laughs> That's actually what happened, yes. <laughs> Nice! First thing we watched on Netflix, because we got home from church, watched Netflix, uh, got, bought Netflix, and watched Deadpool. Everyone was Family. into Deadpool. I haven't seen it, because I'm like, eh, it's just 18 plus, I'll, I'll watch it yeah. some other day. I don't know how much I'd like it anyways, it's just kind of like a no. humor movie, I don't, I don't know. Mm. And they're not really, it's also a superhero movie, which isn't a genre you're yeah, into. Yeah, I don't into. like action, and I don't like superhero movies. And I quite like good superhero movies? There's a lot of shit superhero movies. What's your favorite superhero? Mm, I don't know. What are the candidates? I don't know. I'm, I normally go for the sidekick. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sidekicks are great. So I guess I'll go with Batman because I'm always... I, the Robins are my favorite. Specifically yeah, like first too. and fourth. <laughs> <laughs> I like Robin too, even if I don't watch much Batman. I watch mm. Batman like a movie I watch. Mm. Teen Titans. <laughs> you watch Teen Titans? Did you watch the Teen Titans movie that came out? I watched one really? of them. Teen Titans Go the movies? N not Go. <laughs> I would not watch Go. Oh, Teen Titans Trouble in Tokyo. Not that one either. The ones that came out like, like oh, like, are coming I know out what you're currently. talking about. The one that has different voice actors and everyone's yeah. complaining about that. And Tara Strong's like, why aren't you hiring me? <laughs> Sorry, she's a great voice actor and I respect her. <laughs> and and they had different like, um, and for some reason, everyone's age because like the Robin and Starfire them. are adults. Huh. And then there's a new Robin, and plus, and there's still Beast Boy and Raven, and it follows Raven's story arc, the first one that I watched. But they're with not my Teen mother. Titans if they're adults. So that's good. Beast Boy and Raven are still kids. Mm -hmm. And, um, That's so it's weird. just. I guess because they're it's not human. Just, but Starfire isn't human either. It, it, it's just. It, Starfire now kind of runs the team, and the original Robin. But Starfire is such a ditzy. Uh, she's grown up. And then the original not, uh, Robin is off being Nightwing, as he does. Edge. <laughs> I remember in the original great. Teen Titans series, like, Robin, like, offhand mentions. Well, Batman it's. And stuff. It's the Robin in that one who's being edgy because it's Damien and he's all edgy. Which Robin is in Teen Titans? Um, the ones we watched. Yeah, the original. It's believed to be Dick Grayson, the first one. First one. Though in some versions it is um, Tim Drake, the third one. Oh. And then in the new movie it is um, Damian Wayne, the fourth one. That's not, interesting. Not counting the, the female Robin Robins. Lore, the Robin lore is actually pretty interesting. It is. I like the Robin like, lore. I like Batman lore. I mean, Batman lore can be interesting. <laughs> it it but counts it's kinda, as Batman lore. Like, no, I mean lore about the character Batman. Yeah. It's about the character Robin. Technically, there was, I think, two female Robins, but those aren't really counted, so we don't know where they fall in place. That's too bad. Hopefully there can be a female they, Robin that's they get legit. To be, they get to be their own characters. They get to be Batgirl and spoiler and stuff like that. Spoiler? They, they didn't... Yeah, they didn't last as Robin very long, mm -hmm. but they get to be their own characters. How old is Batman? I don't know. 102? <laughs> I don't think so, no. Because <laughs> he has so many Robins. Is there more than one Batman? Um, if you count Batman and Beyond, yes. That's a game on Game Boy that we threw against the wall. <laughs> oh gosh, it is. Show a clip from that. <laughs> um, I don't need to do that. Anyways! <laughs> so throw it. Am I showing a clip of, of throwing Batman and Beyond? Just throw the, the clips, the many clips that we have of throwing <laughs> the Game Boy cartridge of Batman Beyond against a wall. Yeah. Um, also, at one point, the first Robin was Batman because Batman was dead, but not dead. They found out later he wasn't dead. They originally thought he was dead. Whoa. So. Okay. 
I mean, I, I want to watch the, the superhero movies I want to watch for, like, the adult animated ones. Those yeah. look good. Like, the good ones that are said to be good. They're on, some of them are on that Or the kids, I watch the kids ones because I'm a loser. I feel like those ones are, like, actually interesting. Though. Depends. There's some that some are, some that are. Some are sucky. Like, the ones that are, like, considered better, I guess. Yeah. I might try watching those at one point. Like, I, I gave up on watching Avengers and that whole universe at The Avengers point, are silly. I don't care. I'm hoping they do Black Panther well, because that's a good superhero, but yeah, I've heard a I lot don't of trust about them that. to I don't trust them to do it well at this point. And I don't trust DC to do actual movies well. They keep <laughs> doing animated series well, both Marvel and DC have lots like, of good animated series. I like Wonder Woman. That's like yeah. the only one people like though. Yeah, it's like the only one that turned out good. Yeah. So I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Black Panther turns out good, but mm-hmm. who knows? Lots of people are hyping that up. I doubt it will. At this point. <laughs> yeah, probably not, but that's fine. It's like it's so hit and miss. Yeah. It's so hit and miss. I feel like DC has more interesting superheroes than Marvel does. Oh yeah, I agree. And they have the sidekicks. Marvel yeah. doesn't really have Marvel, that many sidekicks. The thing with Marvel is it's like owned by Disney, so they're trying to make yeah. all these like cutesy versions of their characters and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, they have the and then they go and. And then it, DC, for some reason, keeps going with Gritty. Yeah, Because they mean, did a good Batman series, and Batman's a, a Gritty, so they decided mm-hmm. to make everything Gritty, and that wasn't good. I, I think something in between is what needs to be done. I hate when people, like, turn everything into, like, chibi It cute, depends so. what superhero it is. Like, Batman has to be Gritty. Superman should I mean, not be Gritty. Uh, here's the point. I guess Deadpool, no, definitely not. He can be a silly, silly thing, that's what he is. That's mm-hmm. all he is. Um... And, like, Superman is supposed to be stand for hope. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed to make him gritty. Mm-hmm. Screw off. Yeah, he's a simple character and people hate him, but, like, he has his purpose. He's simple, but he can't be gritty. He has to be simple. He's the simple character. He's, like, representing hope and, like, mm. saving people. Like, the, the classic example of a her- superhero is so iconic, you can't ruin that, you know? He's kind of, like, yeah, there, set in stone. Mm-hmm. Even people who don't read the comics know, they know what, who Superman is and uh, what he represents and stuff like that. And that 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 you can't make him gritty like Batman. That just doesn't work. Batman is always gritty. <laughs> Batman has to be gritty. Or else he's not hey, Batman's Batman. supposed to be gritty with like highlights of Robin. Mm-hmm. Depends on the Robin, of course. But <laughs> there are edgy Robins. There are edgy Robins. There are Robins that become edgy. Best Robin, Teen Titans. <laughs> Only Robin I know, Teen Titans. <laughs> and how? too much about I've stayed up all night reading Batman things cause... which is better probably better than, than some like not as interesting at least it's exercising your brain a bit true probably better than with bad sense. decisions yeah you need sleep I need sleep but still you could have done worse things with your time yeah but anyways superheroes are kind of interesting sometimes but I, I don't like, like I don't like watching action she doesn't movies. like superheroes she likes animated movies I like anime movies, and I like you good like stories. Story. <laughs> I, I, a superhero movie has to have good story. That's what, that's what interests me. That's the problem that I have with the, the like, um, Avengers movies. They kind of gave up yeah. on story and just went, <laughs> action. Yeah, like, I tried watching, like, Captain America, and I watched Iron <laughs> Man, and action. it's like, uh, I don't want to see this action. It's kind of boring for me. And, and the, it's hard to follow the story. The first couple I enjoyed, but, like... Um, Winter Soldier. No, it just pff, action. I think I watched the first two. I en- I enjoyed the first like um, Captain America and the first Iron Man. Those are decent movies. I mean, they're decent. I'm gonna say that, but like, I don't. They're not that they're, interesting for yeah. me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The didn't like the Winter Soldier. Um, and Captain America, cause that's just. There's not story. <laughs> it's just punch. It's punch just... the guy. Yeah, that's not Continue good. Continue punching the guy. I love that. That's a great. <laughs> good, good movie. Yeah, I, I want to watch those, like I said, on Netflix. It's nice they're conveniently on Netflix to watch. Yeah. And Teen Titans, actually, I don't think Teen Titans goes that bad. <laughs> it's a kid show. I mean, it's People funny. People were angry because they went from a kid, uh, from a, like, kid show that Alice co- could watch to just, nope. I mean, I disagree, because I think that Teen Titans Go can be pretty funny. It's just mm. all time, 100% of time. Just, no. And also, it just doesn't fit those characters yeah. we got used to. They kind of screw up the characters. They, they definitely screw up the characters, but like... Like, everyone was used to characters, and then they just went, nah. 
I mean, it has some nods to, like, other stuff and, like, yeah. some funny jokes, like I said, but it's nothing concrete. Mm. And it's I definitely prefer the original, it's and, and very I don't much... agree with how team, um, Cartoon Network plays it 24-7 all the damn time. It's like, yeah, it's no. Like, it's a good kid show. But, like, once you were used to Teen Titans, and you sw- if you were to- you can't switch over to Teen Titans Go. Yeah. I feel like kids will be able to switch from when Teen Titans older, Go to Teen Titans. But the- that's not- that switch can't go the other way around. I feel like Teen Titans would work, work much better if it was just, like, a three-minute shorts. And it, and it aired, like, closer to the original. You mean Teen Titans Go? Yeah, Teen Titans Go would have They had better. a series like that, I believe. They did before actual Teen Titans Go happened. I think yeah. that would have been great, though, if there was, like, a bunch of three-minute shorts. Like, yeah. lots of anime do that, and I think that would have been fun. Just mm. with, like, silly instances, but if the characters were more faithful of it, mm. I feel like they aren't in Teen Titans Go. They're not- it's because they're not- the characters aren't faithful. You got used- to, you had seasons of these characters, you yeah. know these <laughs> characters, and then they're like, haha, no. Who was your favorite Teen Titans? I don't know. Probably Raven. Definitely, I like Beast Boy. Favorite yeah, Beast Boy like episode? Beast Boy. He's in a moped. Oh my god, I love <laughs> that, that was episode. a great episode. I love that episode so freaking much. I don't know I want to watch it again. Like, I, there were so yeah, many good episodes. Teen Titans. We with, have um, a couple of them in the basement. We have a DVD or two. Or yeah, we have one DVD. But I want to watch, like, the episodes, like, I really liked. Yeah, of course. I like that one. I love that moped one. <laughs> it's a good episode. And I liked, I really liked the ending with him and Tara. I thought that was so interesting. Mm. I thought it was a good romance, in my opinion. Even if it was like it's ended out of that, nowhere. Yeah, they just went. They just went. Here's an episode that shows you the few uh, that like gets you excited for the future. No, no more. <laughs> you just get that. Spoilers, also. I mean, sort of. If you want, you can watch Teen Titans. It's, it's a good show. I think it's. I worth just. Your time. I'd suggest not watching the last episode. I. I mean, <laughs> you can watch it if you want, but like, skip a few. There's a lot of filler in it, and there's I, a lot that aren't as good. But there's some really good moments and some really funny episodes in it. Yeah, I watch everything. That's <laughs> I how seen I. Them all. That's how I do a show. I watch yeah. everything at once. I saw like mostly the ones you really liked and you watched with me. And yeah, I, I showed you my favorites. Ones that were on TV. Yeah. I have a, I just watch all of a show in about a week. And that's a bad decision. Yeah, it really is. Can't do that. Can only do that with 20 minute shows. I don't know why. I can't do it with our shows. Our shows I always give up on. Until 20 minute I was shows like, I can do that with. Until I was like 15, I was incapable of watching something over 11 minutes. <laughs> I know you were. It was sad. I had so much trouble watching Teen Titans because of that. It was uh, it's so long. I just like, I watched like one and then <laughs> took a break and then watched another one and then took yeah. a break. Yeah. I we had a problem watching movies together as kids, as I go intently into the show and don't distract me. I'm watching the show, I... and then she wanted to do things while it's watching like, a I show. I want an intermission. I hate sitting and watching this. And now I like doing stuff while watching a show, and she can sit still for more than twenty minutes. Yeah, I mean, like I don't like sitting still for like more than two hours. I mean, yeah, but and most like movies you can get into it. Yeah, of course. I like discussing That's the shows. thing that frustrated me when I was younger. Because, like, I liked... Frustrated me. Because, like, I liked... I'm with my friend. I should be talking. You know, yeah, now we can fun. do that. Now I like discuss. I like predicting how a show is going to end as it goes. <laughs> yeah. And it's sad. I'm very disappointed when I'm right, honestly. Yeah, because, like, this shouldn't be show that easy. isn't smarter than I am. I like watching shows that are smarter than me. Me too, definitely. It's so much more interesting because it's like, I understand like, what the show's trying to tell me. I want to, like, watch shows that <laughs> it makes difficult to try to understand what's going on. I watch a lot of shows with my mom because we have similar tastes. And it's like, we like watching mystery shows and stuff like that. And it's like, there's some that are really good, others that are complete shit. We like, we like watching the Agatha Christie shows. And those are good, because you can watch them, and our rule is, whoever you think it is, not that. Whoever you completely think it isn't, it's them. <laughs> and then you watch it again, and it makes total sense. When That's how you do books? A long time ago. Like, 1800s? I don't know. We can look it up. We're on Wi-Fi. I can look, look it up. on our phone. I'm gonna look it up. Let's see, when did Agatha Christie write? to... But if my, my pass was not working. I'm does just looking have, at like, magic art. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Her lock screen. Does she have like lots of good female characters? I'm guessing so. Like female mm. detectives. Because you don't, I don't see know, that a lot. It depends which ones you go for. Mm. Get the Christie. 
Now this is like good coffee. Mm -hmm. There's nothing left to do. Um, known for her 66 detective novels and 14 short story collections. So she did Hercule Poirot, Miss Marple. I watched those ones. Mm -hmm. um, she we died were... in the 70s? Yeah. So, somewhere around there, but before there, she was writing books as she died in 1976. She probably was writing in the, in the 50s or something? Probably. So not too long ago. No. Interesting. I mean, Murder Mystery, I think, is interesting, but I think mm -hmm. it's better in a video game than in, like, TV. Because video game, you're the detective. I was... <laughs> I was watching Case Closed at one point. That's the closest thing to a mystery show I've been watching. It's an anime that goes on for millions of episodes. Mm. About a small boy who's very smart and solves murder mysteries. I watched a few of those. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like murder, murder mystery thing. shows. When you're watching with someone. I don't really like watching them by yourself. But when you're trying to predict with someone. So yeah. mom gets annoyed at me for talking so much. I've heard that, um, the fun thing about it is trying to guess. Yeah, that's solved. what you do in murder mysteries. I, I have trouble with that. I just watch it. It's like, oh my gosh, it's, I didn't think that would happen. I find it hilarious that I'll, always, I'll be like drawing or knitting while I watch a movie or playing on my phone. And mom <laughs> will be watching intently. And then I'll, and Adele too. We all, and then all of a sudden they're like, I don't know what's happening. And then I proceed to explain what's happening. Yeah, you always Despite do nice. doing stuff. So. I, I don't know. I can follow a movie if it doesn't have stuff that doesn't interest If it has stuff that interests me the entire time, but like if it has no an action- No movie has that. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like if it has an action scene or something, I, I lose interest. Mm. Or if it has like like just a dialogue like, scene that's like yeah. so bored with characters I don't care about. It's like, all, it's like, what's happening? Oh, exactly this, this, this. And I could care less about the movie, but I know what's happening. If I don't care, I stop watching. <coughs> we have- we, yeah, Me and Adele like watching bad movies together. Yeah. <laughs> and she always doesn't know what's happening, and she's like, this makes no sense. It's like, no, it makes perfect sense. This, this, this. Because <laughs> why are we going to pay attention to? Gosh darn. What's a movie we watched? Um, that was really bad recently. It's been a while. Um, the one, the Jaden Smith anime. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 oh, my God. You just reminded me that that exists. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Neo Yokio. <laughs> we want that together. Bubblegum hair. What was the best part of that show? Do you remember anything about that show? Um, the car race. Um, oh, wait, there was a freaking like, like a Russian woman, like, yeah, Soviet woman, and she ran away, and so and they were trying to get and this then, girl like, out of the city. And randomly, like, oh, and we race. like watching shows not in order. Bad shows not in order. We go to like the twentieth episode of the sixth season. Yeah, we, we actually watched... no like. Is it 20th is usually finale time, so normally like five, fifth episode, where it's just kind of like filler, and it makes no sense when you don't know what's going on. We also did that with Naruto, <laughs> but we just go to whatever episode we feel yeah, like. Yeah, we watched Naruto, we watched Neo Yoko, <laughs> we watched Sonic Underground. Oh yeah, Sonic Underground. It was like Sonic as a baby or something. I hate that show. It's not a good show. <laughs> But like Neo Yokio, we started the last episode, I think. We watched the last episode first and went backwards. <laughs> yeah. Because it doesn't make it any better. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, like, and then it was so weird because, like, in the last episode or near the end, they were doing that mini type of arc where there was, like, a race. And then they were going through the city, and then all of a sudden they just dropped the bomb. And it's like, oh, and then the poor people live on the street and they eat rats and stuff. It's like, it was a random line. It's like, why didn't you tell us about this earlier? This makes no, no sense. They quite possibly could have told us about it earlier, but we didn't watch that episode. We watched all of them except for, like, episode two. And True. They didn't mention that before. Eh? I don't think they did. I think it just, like, randomly came it's out. It's just like, well. Well, there you go. I mean, we're not experts or anything. Because mm. we watch it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> what was the best part of that show? There was, like, some guy who's, um, like, smoking weed. He's, like, no, he's vaping. He's, like, vape. I vape out the window or something. It was funny. And he was, like, a judge. I don't know what's going on. And then Jane Smith, his voice acting is, like, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I yeah, I don't remember boy. now, but like when we were watching it, her we're and dying. William were just like, what is happening? And I'd be sitting there like, this, this, and this. 
What was your favorite character in Neo Yokyo? Um, there was the the little lady that was in a robot and was oh! incredibly angry. Yeah, there was like a robot and a robot <laughs> butler. Yeah. And then like near the end, it turns out she's a human. But like we knew she was a human because we watched think, the end. No, I don't know. It, it might have been like at the very beginning she was a human. They revealed at the very beginning or at the very very end. I don't know. I think at the very end they did, and but we started the with the end. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It was so confusing. It came out of nowhere. It's like it's a small woman in a robot suit. I feel like it came out less out of nowhere when you watched it in order. I don't think we watched all the episodes, dude. I think we missed episode two. I think we missed, actually like, no, we did watch all the episodes. We did. So, yeah. We did, but we watched them in a weird order. We watched backwards, and then we probably skipped No, we did them. watch backwards. We watched, like, third, eighth, two. That's exactly... Yeah, we watched, like, the sixth one first or something, and then went and watched an earlier one. Then we watched the first one, and then <laughs> it was, like, I don't freaking know. So we were a bit confused, but, I don't like, think no more confused. Helped. I don't think it would have helped. <laughs> wow. Anyways, if you really want to freaking screw with yourself over some night then watch Neo Yokyo. If you want to have a good night then you should watch an actually good animated movie. What were we saying that you should watch? Teen Titans. Watch so Teen Titans. If you want to suffer watch Neo Yokyo. If you want to kind of enjoy it hope maybe maybe it's not your thing that's fine. You can try Teen Titans. Or you can try Song of the Sea or you can try. Yeah we've been watching lots of more obscure movies too. Yeah. Not to say like ha ha we're such good artists we watch obscure films. No it's just like you know. We watch whatever sounds interesting yeah. and sometimes obscure si- films sound the most interesting when you're going for animated films because animated films that aren't kids movies that are good yeah and, those or are that aren't quite comedies rare it's like lots of good adult movies like whatever Simpsons South Park those are both attached to TV shows <laughs> but uh that sort of thing comedy yeah, that, comedy comedy that's actually like a feelsy movie those are quite rare so, if anyone, we see anyone, we're gonna go watch it. Yeah, but I mean, Song of the Sea was an L movie, but I don't know. No, it's not. It's a kid's movie. Song of the Sea was really good. I bought it on DVD years ago, because I saw it, and it looked like Secret of Kells, and I heard mention of Secret of Kells, and it, I wanted to watch it. It's made by the same people. Yeah, it's like the same I, studio. I got, I got, no, like, I, they mentioned, I was watching director commentary, they mentioned uh-huh. Secret of Kells Secret so of Kells many a times. Lot. Because that was their more popular movie that came out before. <laughs> that I, I watched at one point. I love that movie too. Yeah, it's really good. It's a good movie. It's a really, like, feels good movie. Yeah, it makes me happy so and sweet. sad all at the same time. Yeah, it's really, it deals with, like, all these themes so good, though. Mm. Like, with, like, change of society and with, like, getting over, like, death and stuff like that. It mm. was, it was really, it was really pretty the way it handled it, if that makes sense. Mm. Not just visually, but like the music. I mean, it's visually beautiful too. I mean, it's yeah. watercolor background. It's like, yeah, oh my gosh. That's a movie that you should definitely take time to see, even if you pirate it, but like obviously buy the DVD or the Blu ray before pirating it. But mm. it's just a nice experience for a movie, Song of the Sea. Yeah. Um, It's about like they live in an ocean and they have like a. His sister is like a seal. <laughs> Selfie, yeah. She's a selkie, and she wears a coat, and... Mm. <laughs> anyway, it's a really cute movie. It's real cute. I love it. And we also watched epic film Bird Boy. Yeah, we watched Bird, Bird Boy. Bird Boy and the Forgotten Children. Yeah. We watched it in a theater. It was just... Oh, there's a movie coming out, it looks really yeah, pretty. Yeah, we were looking We were looking at that theater. It's, it's, um, it's like an art theater, the local it's the, theater. It's an um, international theater, so it has all these movies yeah. from different countries, and we were looking through... The animated section is like, okay, anime, anime, move, anime, 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 anime. <laughs> not anime, beautiful looking though. So then we look into this and it seems interesting. So then we, we watch, watch a trailer, Bird Boy, the Forgotten Children. It's from Spain. <laughs> yeah. Spanish. And it was, it was like a we interesting movie. We watched a sub of it. Yeah, we watched the sub, we went to the theater to watch it. It was really interesting. Mm. I, I'm, I mean, it's hard to say I enjoy it because it's like really mm. depressing kind of movie like it ended there was not a sound normally yeah it ended and just like it was silence yeah just kind of like because we were in a theater with a bunch of people no noise no 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 applause and no one left until the credits were over too yeah it's just that but that's partly because we went to an rt theater yeah and also (laughs) partly because the type of movie it is you can't just like get up and like we were on the train home and i was just thinking about it a lot yeah, and discussing it, and probably looked weird because we were discussing these dark things. Yeah, just, just discussing these dark themes in a train. Yeah. Yeah, it was. 
I can't. I maybe maybe night. I enjoyed it. We and then we proceeded because you maybe can't we, go to um bed after watching a movie like that. But then yeah, we proceeded so we, to watch. Yeah, Song we of watched the Song of the Seeks. It's like we need to feel a bit better. <laughs> we don't want to feel like. And then we went to sleep. Yeah. And I fell off the couch. I didn't actually fall yeah, off the couch. Yeah, she stayed at my house and fell off yeah. the couch. Anyway, Bird Boy with Forgotten Children was a movie. It was like. You say it, it was a was, movie. It was like number one movie in Spain or something. You said. I don't know. I don't remember. It won an award or something over there. I think so. Yeah, yeah. and it's, that's probably why it got over here. Mm. I think that's a really good movie, and I'll probably watch it again when I'm older. Uh huh. And, and if I'm ever able to find the DVD, I'm buying the yeah, DVD. Yeah, definitely. Like, I really want to get the DVD for that movie. Yeah. I'm glad we got to support it a little bit going to the theater. Yeah. Yeah, that's another good movie, and... I watched this movie that I saw when I was a lot younger called uh, Ernest and Celestine, which is like a French movie that came here. I mm. really want to watch this with you because I really like this okay. movie. Okay, we'll watch it's it. It's on Netflix. I watched it with my mom the other day. I got reminded of it. I watched it in the theater when I was in, like, fifth grade because mm. it was, like, a French movie, and... I go to French school, and they're like, oh, French movie coming to Canada, and then the entire French school has to come see it for free. Because <laughs> they, because it's a small movie, and they want to support it, I guess. But it's really cool. Okay, we'll, we'll but, have to watch it. Yeah, I won't tell you too much about it, but that's also a really nice movie, Ernest and Celestine. I watched it again recently. Mm. Beautiful looking, everything looks, like, painted, and, like, the lines are kind of wavy, that sort of thing. Mm. It's about like it's animal characters. Most of these are animal characters, and like it's like there's the bear world on top, and like underground and in the sewers, there's like the mouse world, and they live like contrasting each other. And then a mouse meets a bear, mm. and like it's more like a father daughter story. Like the bear is like the father figure for the little mouse, and they're happy together, even though like their societies are not supposed to be together. That sort of thing. Yeah. It's a sweet movie. No, oh, we'll have to watch it after and we watch... And it's on Netflix, so it's easy to watch. So Whatever, we're gonna watch... After we watch <laughs> Brad's movies. <laughs> yep, we're gonna watch something horrible and we're gonna watch a really sweet <laughs> movie. And we have though. time today, because it's already 8.41. We'll probably end up just... Who knows? It's a mystery. We'll see how much time we have. Maybe another night. Yeah, there's lots of pretty movies in the world. Yeah. How long have we been going for? An hour and two minutes. Okay. Maybe we should stop then. Or play game. We gotta, well, I mean, stop our conversation. I think that was quite the meaty conversation. Lots yeah. of stuff in there. Mostly talking about movies and media movies. and stuff. Sprats. Sprats. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Hopefully that was something interesting worthwhile. So, our game, as per the usual. We're playing bad movie descriptions. Oh, it ties in perfectly to what we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking about a lot of movies. I didn't expect us to talk about <laughs> so much dang movies, but we did. Uh -huh. Didn't get through most of our themes that's that we fine. were discussing. But that's okay. Okay, shall I go first? Okay, first we should Let's explain the game. Let's rock, paper, scissors, actually. First we should well, explain, explain the game. Okay, no so we have a hat full of pieces of paper. And not all of these pieces of paper are names of movies. And, or TV shows. And that we both know. Mm -hmm. And, um, we'll have the movie shown on the screen if you want to see it and you can close your eyes i guess if you don't yeah. but so one of us will say say the movie down. and um or tv show t or tv show and then you have to badly describe it but it has to technically make sense like we'll put an example on screen like the star wars one it was like star wars example um man is trained by monk and then kisses his sister and gets his hand cut off by his dad or something like that. Yeah. It was something like that and like with that sentence you need to figure out what they're saying. Yeah, and you and you want and if you're saying the sentence, you don't want them to guess the sentence cuz then they get a point, but it has to still make sense. Cuz yeah. if it doesn't make sense at all, you'll lose a point. Cuz if you get like bears seen bears and say <laughs> an apple falls out of a tree. No. I don't know that happens in the show, but... I mean, that might happen. I don't know. I don't know the show either. That's not in here, by the way. And hopefully we want to get Scar Wars, because... Scar Wars? Scar Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Anyways, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let's see who goes first. Rock, rock paper, paper, Scissors. Wait. Rock, rock paper, paper, Scissors. Rock, Paper, paper scissors. scissors. I win. We got, okay, we got go double first. scissors. So, I choose mine, and then hide it from you. Yeah. Okay, I got one. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Brothers pass out in a river and go and get lost. Um. I know which, which show you're talking about. <laughs> I know, it's hard to be the, not specific. Um, why can't I not remember it? Why can't I remember the name? <sighs> the, the, the one with the, the boy. toad. And, <laughs> the toad. And the... It's Mario? <laughs> no, not Mario. Well, that is an option. There's a toad. And was it originally called... Um, it had something about the tome of something. Tome of the Unknown. Yeah, the, the tome of the Unknown is the original name. Can I just count it as that? Because sure. I know which one I mean, you're yeah, about. it's hard to be, like, non specific but it's just an like, original show. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, you yes. win. Okay. They know so. what. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Like, just do O T G W. I have to remember this, so no. I do. If you write over the garden roll like O T G W into Google Images, you'll see it. Okay, so now my turn. I'm gonna get this. Where's the I don't want to spell it. I don't know. What the f here it is. Group of kids live by themselves in a tower. <laughs> um, group of kids. Group of kids. I mean, teens. But... Teen Titans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said teen Titans. Oh my god. That's good. I mean, I was. Everything I said was true. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good one. Yeah, that's a description of the show. <laughs> kids live by themselves in a tower. I was thinking like of a lot of really unrelated stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, That's such a good one. It's hard to be not specific about some of these. Okay. Let's see. Okay. A lady falls in love with an ugly man and Beauty and the Beast. Man. Yeah. That's so hard. Some of these are hard it's like uh, Beauty and the Beast is known for that. It's about Beauty and the Beast. Dana win. Okay, my turn. Let's go. That hard one. Ow. <laughs> Group of things pretend they're not alive. Pretend they're not alive? Mm-hmm. Um What <laughs> what things? Uh -huh. Cars? Uh-uh. Because <laughs> I remember I wrote that one down. <laughs> no, you're wrong. I get a point. Want to know what it was? Yes. Toy Story. Oh. Technically makes sense. If you said... Um, <coughs> if you said, uh... Whatever, toys, I would have gotten it right away. That's okay. Yeah, I know. That's why I said things. Things. Inanimate objects. I would have said inanimate objects. Because, like... They're still technically things. They're still things. Okay. What, at what point in Cars do they pretend they're not alive? I don't know, it's the only thing I remembered was like inanimate objects as a star. Because I think of Toy Story, I still think of characters like humans. Right. <laughs> so I guess it's just my fault. Okay, yeah, close your eyes. My eyes are not looking at you. They're looking at the pillow. What the frick? Okay, fine. Um, some guy moves into a new town, and it's like an old-fashioned town. And then he meets a girl, and, and he races. <laughs> Cars? Yes. <laughs> I would have gone with um guy accidentally falls asleep and wakes up in a new town. I mean I was doing too specific, but I'm like, what happens to cars again? <laughs> he has right here, gosh darn springs. He he races. Cause he's a famous race car driver. I thought you said a celebrity. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. My turn. Yeah, let's see if we can actually stump someone. I've stumped you. You win. Mm. Kids kept getting things stolen and go going missing. Getting things stolen and going missing. <laughs> Kids going missing. No, they're not going missing. Their things are going missing. Um. I mean, I'm sure they go missing at some point. <laughs> I keep getting their stuff. What the frick? 
I don't know. Do you want me to tell you? Um. I don't know. Cause I forget which ones I wrote down. Mm -hmm, I do too. A movie about. It's not necessarily a movie. Um. Remember those rules. I don't know which one. It is the verb. Get the stuff stolen. It's up. Uh, it, I never said stole it. Or sometimes it's taken. Sometimes it goes missing. They build stuff. They build stuff, but every time it goes missing before their mom sees it. Oh, yeah. Technically, it, it what did. I said is true. Sometimes, yeah, it goes missing before their mom comes. <laughs> it don't get busted. Yeah. Where's the freaking link? I must have. I have it. Yeah, put it. Okay. I was gonna say it's from like no, they build it. They don't lose it. Uh, they always lose it. <laughs> if it's true, at the end of the episode, they lose it. <laughs> better at this than you are <laughs> making up really vague statements that technically fit. Okay. So, a group of round people off the street become famous singers. Hmm, just one I'm not sure about. I'm getting more specific. Yeah. What did we write down that has singers in <laughs> it's it It's always all? like, what did we write down? <laughs> what did- yeah, that has singers in it at all. Yeah. That's fair. I probably wouldn't guess that either. Yeah, I don't know. Give yourself a few minutes. I don't know. Oh my god, the chip! Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's not true, they're not people. Well, you said that Toy Stars are objects. I guess- They, they are objects! I guess I could have called them the characters. I wouldn't have done it, but... But I guess I didn't lie. Mm -hmm. You get the point, I mean. Wait, no, I get the point. Okay, my turn. Next one. Kids run away from their grandma. From their grandma? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with their grandma? <laughs> grandma in. Grandma in Song of the Sea, but they go to the grandma, they don't leave the grandma. Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> no. No, it we was- We didn't write that down. No, it was Song of the Sea. Really? Yeah. They don't- Oh, I guess oh, they do! They, they, do the they go to the grandma. Do I get the point or not? No. Well, that's the first thing I thought of. You said it's not Song it's of not the Sea. You specifically said it's not Song of the Sea. Okay. Song O.C. <laughs> Your turn. What is that music? Uh, it's a noise for the next round. There are not just random papers all over the floor. That's fine. Yay. Memories. Okay. So. Ah, I stared at the light. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. What even happens in this movie? Um. I don't know, I don't know what movie it is. I'm trying to think. Um. Sisters are sisters and they love each other. Frozen? Yeah. <laughs> Frozen. What happens in freaking Frozen? Um, Elsa, evil lady. I probably would have mentioned love someone. how there's um, lots of snow. That would have given um, away. Gnomes save the day. That's what I would they go do? with. They do. A reindeer saves the day. I don't. Remember, I, the rock gnomes. They save the day. Oh yes. They're not gnomes. They're freaking trolls. Okay, go. Girl is basically a maid, but then she becomes rich. Cinderella. Correct. She is a slave. <laughs> I knew that one. Smart, smart. Okay, hold this. Holding this. Better be a good one. Better not be Star Wars. It's gonna be silly videos. Okay. You could do well with Star Wars. I couldn't think of something really stupid. Okay. A boy figures out a secret about himself and everyone hates him. He's a loser. <laughs> loser boy finds out a secret about himself. There we go. I'm just gonna go with bird boy. No. Okay. Paranormal. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Loser boy. I remember because I said loser and I was locked. 
I have that movie on VHS. I record it from the TV on VHS. Why? Because I want to, because I had a blank VHS, and I'm like, I like this movie, I'm going to record it. Oh yeah, that's fair. Paranorman, because I wanted to see what it was like to record a VHS. I really like that movie, though. People kind of hate it. I love it. I didn't see it. Should we be able to give hints? Because we're destined to eat it. When we're stumped, we should be able to give one hint. One hint, um... So, so that doesn't help the guessing room too easily. That's the problem. <laughs> That's exactly, that would have the exact op op opposite problem. Let's just Maybe keep going. if you feel like there's a hint that would be appropriate, you can say it. Mm. Kids nurse developed flight. Kids nurse develops flight. Technically makes sense. Nurse? Technically makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> What's a movie with a nurse in it? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bad word to use? I mean... Nurse, like... <laughs> nurse, lady, or man? You can't tell me. Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Most <of the> thing. <laughs> or no. No is no probably more man. likely. No, lady or man, neither. Um, I'm technically not making things up. <laughs> You're laughing so I'm literally like, vague. <laughs> so vague. Kids nurse <laughs> Fair boy, what's wrong that? Um, no, it's Big Hero 6. Technically makes sense. Who flies in Big Hero 6? Who flies? Big Max. Kids nurse. Yes! <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Classic meme. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Kids and nurse develop flight. Alright. A social outcast meets friend and marries an attractive lady. A social outcast meets friends and marries an attractive lady. He meets one friend. Meets friend. Heh. What movie did we watch that ends with marriage? <laughs> <laughs> or has marriage in it in general? We watch I a lot think, of kids' movies. I think they marry or they just like get together. Makes friends. Can you repeat the sentence? Uh, social outcast meets friend and marries an attractive lady. Snow White. No. What She's not it? social outcast. I mean, kind of on the right track. Which one is it? What? You. I only get one guess. Okay. Oh, uh, Shrek. Huh. I could have let you go on for a minute, you might have got it. Because, like, Shrek is making fun of Snow White. <laughs> it is a good one, though. Vague enough, but not too vague. Trick the move. Technically, get yeah, one guess. Let's go through these quick. Hmm, thinking. Hmm, thinking. Two brothers do things together. Two brothers. Yeah. Rick and Morty. <laughs> we should put Rick and Morty in this hat. We watched that, but it, no, it's not Rick and Morty because I just know two brothers is from that show. Um, two brothers. Two brothers over gone well done. Two brothers in <sighs> What are their brothers that are over the garden wall? It's the only movie with brothers in it. <laughs> this was I don't know why we put this one in here and I didn't know what else to say for it. Oh oh I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Fire <laughs> movie. Yay, that was too much of a hit. <laughs> you just said I don't know why I put this one in here. I know. What did you say? Um, uh, two brothers do things together. I don't know what happens in this movie. <laughs> two brothers and it's nothing like the game. Game was giving it away. I get that one. I mean, we have Pokemon in here, so it's just a game. But you said two brothers. Mm -hmm. Based on game, two <laughs> I could have gotten Pokemon. It's Mom. a 50-50 chance then. <laughs> I think we might have put... Yeah, we just put Pokemon in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, don't get Pokemon now. <laughs> you do... Indeed. Okay. Go. You know what we should put in here? Ed's world. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a TV show. That's not a TV show or a movie. Um... Kids spy on old man and old man dies. I feel like I know what you're talking about, but I have no idea. This is like summarize a movie you haven't seen in two years, so. Like, <laughs> hmm. Kids spy on. Oh! Um, Monster House. Yeah! Old Man Freaking Dies! Classic film. Everyone knows that film. Monster House. I am. Um... That totally does is a bit. <laughs> but literally, that movie's like surprisingly dark. I kind of like it, even if. I, I do like the plot of how he's like, get off my lawn, but it's actually not me. Yeah, I like how it's interesting because it's, it's, he's trying to protect the kids and like, he's the house right. is his wife. That's really interesting. That part was like, kind of... I, it scared me as a child. Yeah, definitely. It should not be considered a kid's movie. No, it's like It should a, not be on YTV. It's like 14 plus. Yeah, why was it always on YTV? I don't know. It was, that's why we've seen it so many times. It's always on like, YTV, the free Canadian channel. <laughs> Classic movie. Um, car brings people places. Car. <laughs> You're giggling like crazy. Here. I find this description funny. Car brings. Lots of cars do. <laughs> Cars. I said that already in a freaking lot. They're very specific places. Guy Falls. No. There's a bus in that that brings people places. Uh, I can measure lots, lots so. of these. What? Did you go Gravity Falls? I'll let me one more. Okay. Cars. There's lots of cars in these movies. So what can I choose? Hmm. Does it bring people more than one place? Yes. More than one place. Uncle Grandpa. You <laughs> 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 that in here. <laughs> I don't think that is your answer. Because you are about to grab your phone. No. Back to the future. Yes, it's true. <laughs> it's true. It brings people That's places. That's how the There's movie is. Very specific places. Time. <laughs> That's pretty much like two places. Brings you to the future and back. And other times in the future. And then the sequel. But that's not a sequel. I mean, uh -huh. it's just back and forth a bunch of times. <laughs> Car brings people places. Yeah, you said time. true. You said time. Snap your fingers. It's back in the future. Yeah. That's old why man I did and time. Old man and, um. Uh. You ever troll clothes like that? <laughs> so sad you're like. <laughs> I missed it. I, it was behind the notepad. Anyways. Whose whose turn is it? Me? Your turn. <coughs> Alright. Why are you looking away? Because I don't want to see it. Why well, don't I have a look? <coughs> um. Oh, I did a. <laughs> okay. Um. Girl meets new friend, and everyone hates him. Bird Boy. No. What is it? Little Stitch. Ah, ants. Yeah. That was a good guess. Could have been Bird Boy almost. Yeah, almost could have. But that's true because everyone hates him. Even more than Stitch. <laughs> and he has. Uh, she technically doesn't meet. Yeah, he doesn't meet him in the movie. That happened beforehand. Mm hmm. Couple of them annoying. Annoying. Okay, movie. Well, I think I saw it. I think another one. What did you think it was? Snow White. Yeah. I thought Snow, I'm like, what other movies with Snow Frozen? <laughs> that doesn't have Snow in the way. name. I just got Snow White again. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what? So tempting to look when you can, like, see the words, and, like, my mind just automatically tries to guess what they are. Hey, this works. Go okay. ahead. Boy meets friends who keep breaking things. Milo Murphy's law. No. <laughs> <laughs> keeps breaking things. Yeah. I keep saying all these things that come to mind that aren't in the, in the hat. <laughs> we know it's in the hat. Okay, so friend breaks things. Boy meets friend keeps breaking things? Yeah. Friend, girl, boy. I'm not telling you what the friend is. <laughs> no! Um... I don't know. Do you give up? He's sure I give up. I'm a giant. He's friendly. He's breaking the freaking power lines. Eats it. Yes. 
Who does that friend that eats a lot? Boy meets friend that- Friend, don't tell you! He's a big thing! I don't know what he is! He's a giant... That's not bad. It technically is true! The lion gets in trouble with the government. I would've said that. <laughs> yeah, that works too, and I wouldn't have known what you meant. Yeah. You can say a lot of things about Orange Giant really big. So it's kind of like a similar story. Yeah. It's what people say it is, it's essentially E.T. Essentially E.T. I like it better than E.T. Snow White again. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what do I say? Um. Main character is killed at the end. I'm just kidding. I'm trying. Yes. Bird boy. Yeah, that's the only other one. I thought it was Stumpy at first, and it's like Iron Giant's gone. <laughs> so, Bird boy. I'm like, how do I say the name of Bird boy? That's just a boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should I cut that out? No, it's fine. I mean, maybe put a mark, just if you want. Because it's gonna show the movie, it'll be like, I did a dang spoiler. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's multiple main characters. There's like five, six. Yeah, because they never even like mix that much. It's kind of like about the characters individually, not about what they do together. Mm -hmm. Other than the group of three. At one point, but it's still about them individually. Woman breaks into man's house and then they let her stay. Tangled. No. <laughs> Again. Woman breaks into man's house and they let her stay. What is Tangled fit in Cause, that? Cause, oh, it's the other way around. Man breaks into woman's house. Okay, um, it, what? Anyways, TV show? Movie. Can we give it away? Movie. Movie. I can't see how that would change the answer. I guess, but, I, I don't know. It would make more sense if it's the movie, cause it's like one story. But anyways, um, uh, hmm, breaking into houses. Breaking into houses. There's a criminal involved. This one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. <coughs> Do you give up? Let me ask for another hint. I'm give not me, giving you another hint. Because you think this is enough for me to guess it? Yeah. Okay, what is it then? No way in the seven drawers. She does? She breaks into the dwarf's house? Yeah. Yeah! That's what happens! We should've put the brats one in here! <laughs> True. What happens in the brats one? Woman breaks into a house, well, young girl breaks into a house full of <laughs> tiny adult men in their rap? <laughs> That's another line. Let's do a movie review of brats ever, ever after. Happily you ever after. You Okay. Where are we? 127? Mm -hmm. Let's do... Three, four, depends how many. Let's do two or four more of these. Okay, better be good. You see? Okay. Um. Girl meets a new mom and likes her better than her actual mom. Coraline. Yeah! <laughs> Why did I have to say new mom? <laughs> it's like essentially the same thing. What other thing would it be? I would probably like my brain will fart and I'll be like, what? Well, I'm not another, another, another mom? What? I don't know why I probably wouldn't get it. Just instantly, no thought, just Coraline. As Coraline? soon as you say new mom. I know, because it's so much like As soon as you mention mom. mom. Yeah, it's like one of their mom movies. They're mostly dad movies down here. Mm. Kid believes other kid is evil. He believes. She believes. Which one? He. He. Yeah. Um. He believes she. He's evil. <laughs> um. Believes, but is the other evil? That's I mean, right. You. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what would believe. There, yeah, there. Now the kid is evil. I mean, debatably, technically. <sighs> Misguided is technically a term. But I don't- I don't think that would fit here, technically. This is the one. No. No? <laughs> um... Do we wash it together? 
watched for me at some point, probably. Mm, at some point, I don't know. I don't mean. I mean, I've watched it by myself, and I think I've watched it with you. Um, evil person Voltron. <laughs> no. You only know what it is. Invader Zim. Invader Zim. Dib thinks Zim is evil. He does. An alien! An alien! That's my impression of Dib right now. That's a good impression of Dib. Yeah, your it. Dib's arm fell off. My, I have a keychain. We both have the same one of Dib and his, his legs both fall off. Oh, my, my, I have a Mega Man one. An alien. An alien. He's in this room. What does he say in the first episode? <laughs> I could I don't know. at one point. You could. Let me see. Grab one. I wish I didn't practice. I should be able to quote full episode of Mater Zoom. Space face up. But we're gonna do it. I don't know. You're not allowed to quote the entire episode of Space Face. Damn it, Ed. That's what he says at the beginning. Yeah. He's doing something stupid again, isn't he? You know yep. what it is yet? Know what it is yet? Nope. nope. Well, I'm we're sure gonna, we're gonna, gonna find, find out. out. And he <laughs> And then they're. Oh, and the railings are ridiculous and I'm too pretty to die. Anyways. And then you shot by the gun. Um. Thank you. I have a good one for this. Aliens play musical instruments. At one point. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah! <laughs> what else could that be? That's the best part of Star Wars. I was going to say Vader Zib, but. It was always. Oh, Cause that was literally the last one. This should be. This will be the last one. Last set or what? Last one and the. You're the beginning. Okay. You began, so it's I finish. The final countdown. Mm -hmm. Better be a good. One. I better get this one. Animal cries. Animal cries. cries. Animal cries. <laughs> animal is animal main character. Is the main character human or animal? Both. They're multiple main characters. They're multiple main characters. Um. This. Can't see. This that character that animal is a main character. Yes. Animal, main character. He cries. Mm. She cries. He, I think. <laughs> you don't even know. Mm. I don't uh, know. Is it a Disney movie? <laughs> no. Most of them are. There's only few Disney movies. Um. An up of animal cries, that's all I guess. I think he's a dog cry. Mm -hmm. And the dog's a main character. Kevin. No, he's not the dog's name, really Kevin. <laughs> Anyways, um, I need to guess this or else it's gonna be anticlimactic. Yeah. Um, Pokemon. Yeah! Two cries in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I remember about that movie because we Woo! discussed it earlier. You know that part where Ash is dead and Pikachu cries? Me either. Animal. So Pokemon now animal. I'm going to count your points and I'm going to count uh, my points. I bet you win. Or I'm close. Because, um, okay, first I'm going to count your points. Because we have to keep track of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. You got eight points. Now me. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh wait, no. You got. No, I got fifteen and you got nine. Yeah. This one goes to you. No, we didn't count the last one. I did it. No, you didn't. I got fifteen. You got nine. I did the last one. Look at you smudged it. I smudged it. Oh well. Thank you for I watching. I can fix it. This has erasable. Yeah. Well, there's I'll a pile it. of paper here now. It's not working. I will not fix it. Anyway, thanks for listening if you got this far. It's a little bit longer than the last one. This, not really. Only like 15 minutes long. Yeah, a bit longer. We were too busy discussing movies and brands. <laughs> yeah, we got on a long tangent. Hopefully that oh. wasn't too confusing. <laughs> That was interesting for you guys. Anyway, um, we were thinking of doing a Let's Play or something later, so if we made it this far, then you get a bit of a sneak peek of what we're planning to do. If you want to see that, I guess. Yeah, if you think a Let's Play Or maybe watch our old thing. I don't know. We'll see what we do. 
Yeah, we might watch our Bratz movie if that's also something you're interested in. I don't know, there's lots of things you can do with the Or read channel. the short story or... Short story is something I kind of want to do. So anyway, yeah. lots Bye. of possibility. See you next time. Indeed. Thanks for listening. I hope I you're remember. having a good day. No, I don't remember how to turn this. <laughs> oh, far, far. I think it's this button. Yes? No. No, it's, it's not.